So I'm going to show you a real-time application which I have developed on code.org using the basic features of App Lab. So there are two panels uh, which I have defined on this app and I have named this app as hide and seek. So uh, in order to access the admins panel, what the admin has to do, the admin has to hit this uh, you know biscuit kind of thing over here and automatically he's going to get redirected you may hide the key on this beautiful screen fine so this is a gif animated screen i have defined over here now on with the help of this admins panel the admin can hide the key so it's a kind of game you know in which the admin can hide the key and the other participants have to search the keys on their respective panels and you know, uh, once a participant is done with searching the key, automatically the admin and the other people who are working on this app are going to get the notification of the same. So how a user or a participant can access the participants or users panel, that's what I would like to show you now. So as you can see, this is a second browser and you have to assume it as if uh, it is a second device. Fine, I am writing my, uh, you know, writing down a name over here. And here I am going to enter uh, an email address. And once I'm done with that, I need to hit this uh, hand kind of thing over here. Hi, Sashant admin will soon hide the key. Be ready to find it. So this is again a very beautiful screen I have designed. Okay, so nothing is going to happen if the user will hit um, any of these components which I've defined on this screen because you know, the control is totally uh, with this admin, you know. The admin is the only one who can control these two screens. Now let's come on this third browser which uh, you have to assume as the third device. And I'm, I'm going to write down a name over here and here I am going to put an email address. So what, for now I'm using this one. Okay, and uh, let's now hit this hand kind of thing and. Hi Abhinav admin will soon hide the key. Okay. So Be ready to find it. These are the two users who will try to find the key. How the admin can hide the key, he just have to select one of uh, these locations he's going to come across when he'll hit this drop down over here just a second okay so these are the locations let's hide the keys inside the top inside the tal so we just have to select this tal and then we need to hit this gif image You successfully hided the key. So we successfully hided the key. Let's see what is going to happen. So automatically, you may start finding the key. The users you may start finding the key. The users are going to come on this screen. So every the things which you just see, it's uh, you know they it happened on real time. Okay, let's start finding out the key. So you know they have got five chances each. Fine. Uh, Let's try and check out the key over here inside, uh, in, under this cap. You are left with four chances. So I'm left with four chances on this panel. Uh, let's try and find out the key, uh, you know, under this bottle. You are okay. left with four chances. So as you can see, the chances are getting reduced over here, right? Let's check it out, uh, you know, below this X. You are left with three chances. Okay, I'm left with three chances. You are left with three chances. Three chances. Okay, let's check it out under this bed. So we just have to hit this bed over here. You are left with two chances. No, it's not the right answer. So let's hit this tile and see what's going to happen. Congratulations. Sushant successfully found, found, found the key. key. So as you can see, all the participants... Sushant successfully found the key. As well as the admin received this no notification that Sushant was successful in finding the key. Let's check it out uh, what is going to happen here if I'll hit this tile or let's hit this window first. 
You are left with one chance. Okay, I'm left with only one chance now. Let's hit this tile. Congratulations. Abhinav successfully found the key. key. Abhinav successfully found the key. So Abhinav successfully found the key. Let's hide the key one more time. Now let's hide it, uh, you know, under this cap, which you're seeing over here. So that's how we can do it. We need to hit this uh, GIF, ima GIF animated image now. You successfully hided the key. You, you may start, start finding, finding the key. key. So as you can see, these two people will see that the key will again uh, got disappeared, has again got disappeared from their respective panels. Right now, let's start finding the key once again. So I'm, let's hit this bottle first. You are left with four chances. Okay, I'm not right. Let's hit this. Just a second. Uh, let's hit this bucket over here. You are left with four chances. Four chances. Let's check out. Check it out. Uh, under this carpet. You are left with three chances. Three chances. I'm left with. Um, Chair. You are no. left with two chances. X. You are left with one chance. Okay, and what about this? No chance is left with you. So, uh, you know, I am done on this panel. Let's check it out. Whether can I find it out uh, on this user's panel or not? So I need to hit this uh, toy over you here. You are left with three chances. I am left with three chances only. Let's uh, hit this cap. Congratulations. Abhinav successfully found the key. So all the Abhinav successfully found the key. along with this admin has received the, this notification that Abhinav has successfully found the key. Okay, so that's how you can play this game. And if the admin want to continue, he can again select one of these locations. Uh, let's select this chair over here. Okay, and let's set this. Uh, GIF animated screen. You successfully hide so the key. You, you may start, start finding, finding the key. key. You know, they will receive the notification. All the participants are going to receive this notification. They can start finding the key. The admin is done with hiding the key. Now they can start finding the key. So that's how this game is. Okay, now let's check out the code I have made use of on code.org for developing this beautiful, beautiful game. So this is the code over here. So there are two tables which you'll get to see on the data browser connected to this app. One with name hidden and the second with name found. Okay, so see uh, this is the first screen the user is going to is going to come across. Right, once he's done with hitting uh, this uh, image over here, automatically he's going to get redirected on this beautiful admin screen. Okay, with which uh, from where he can hide the key. Now, when he will uh, hit this GIF animated screen, the idea of which is hide. Okay, so this is a code which is going to get executed. So automatically a table with name hidden will get created on the data browser. And you know, this is a code which is going to get executed automatically. Fine, so if the, just a second, sorry, not this one. This is a code which is going to get executed automatically. So uh, if it's a user and he's done with, you know, accessing the user's panel by hitting this uh, hand like kind of thing over here uh, after entering his name and email address. So he's going to get redirected on this screen. Let me show that screen to you first. So first the user is going to come on this screen and automatically when the admin is done with successfully hiding the key, automatically the user, all the users are going to get redirected on this beautiful screen where they will have to search for this key. Okay, so this is a code which is going to get executed automatically. Now there are two variables I have made use of, two counter variables. The first one is X and the second one is Y. So initially, uh, I have initialized this Y with this 5, okay, and then when the user, if the user will hit this cap over here, 
So x will become equal to cap and the records are going to get pulled up from this table named hidden. So if the record will match with the value of x, then this is going to happen. This code is going to get executed. The key will be visible to the user. And you know, at the same time, a new record with name, a uh, new table, or you can say a new record with name found is going to get created on the data browser connected to this app, where the name of the person who has found the key, who was successful in finding the key, is going to get saved. And finally, everyone else who is accessing the platform at that time will receive this notification that that person is successful in finding the key. Okay, similarly, if uh, the option which the user has selected is not right, so automatically the value of y is going to get decremented by one. And if it is equal to equal to four, so this is the for this is the speech which the user is going to hear then if it is equal to equal to three then this is the speech which the user is going to hear and if it is equal to equal to two then equal to equal to one then equal to equal to zero so these are the speeches he is going to hear um, if the values of y is equal to equal to these three values fine so that's how i have defined the code for that counter variable y and similarly the same thing is going to happen for this carpet also, for this drawer also, for this uh, X which you're seeing over here, then for this tile which you're seeing over here. Okay, so that's how I have defined the code for every component I have defined on this in this beautiful picture. Okay, then it is chair, after that it is tile, then it is uh, bed, and then you know, there are, uh, not, I think, 9 to 11 elements I have defined on this uh, beautiful screen you're seeing. Then it is a toy. Th this is a toy uh, which is kept over here. Fine. Let's now come to uh, the final thing. Uh, so there is a button with name admin. And you can find it, I think, uh, you can find it on this screen. Yeah, this is the uh, image ID of which is admin. Okay, and then there is, uh, image eight, let me show to you, let me show it to you where is that image eight. So this is image eight. When the user will hit this image, so automatically this is a code which is going to get executed. And finally, this is the code which is going to get executed automatically when something in this found table is going to happen. Okay, so that's how I have created this beautiful application. Hope you guys enjoyed this lecture a lot. Do like and subscribe to my channel and also Share the link of this video in your group so that more and more students can come and join my channel and enjoy these coding classes free on my channel. If you want to avail coding classes facility, you guys are most welcome to ask your parents to contact me on my phone number 9891665634. Okay, and you guys can get yourself registered for uh, the fresh batches which I am going to start uh, with from 1st of March 2021. Okay, thank you very much. God bless you all and Namaste.